Welcome to another TCGU video brought to you by the Chariot Group. My name is Bob Jackman and today we're going to talk about updating the firmware on the 6000 series board. There's a new firmware out for the 6000 series board. Uh, it's going to address a number of issues. The biggest issue that we've seen that it addresses is how far off the glass the pen can be to register and write. And this becomes problematic because what ends up happening is it connects a lot of your letters together. Okay, so like right here is it's connecting the dot and the eye because I'm picking my pen up, but just not quite far enough for it. And so this new firmware makes it so that distance where it'll register is a little bit less, so your handwriting looks a lot better. So what we're going to do is show you how to update your firmware on these flat panels so that you can get a better writing experience. Okay, first I'm going to show you how to update the firmware uh, if you have a Mac computer connected to your smart board. So the first thing you want to do is come up here to your uh, smart board tools, click on that, go to update, check for updates and activation. And what we're looking for is under the smart product drivers, click on that and we're looking for at least version 12.5. If you have 12.5 or higher, this is going to work. If you do not, you'll need to update that and there should be a, an indication that you can update that or update smart notebook to update your drivers to get those to the, the, the most current version. Then the next thing we're going to do, once you've verified that you've got the right version of product drivers, you're going to go to your spotlight search. So that's the magnifying glass in the very top right hand corner of your screen. That'll bring up the spotlight search. You'll want a keyboard and what you're going to type in is firmware updater. And notice as I type in firmware, that firmware updater is the top hit. So I'm going to click on the firmware updater and that's going to open up the firmware updater. You are going to want to have a mouse because this is not, you're going to need a mouse so it won't work on the touch screen uh, because we're going to be updating the firmware and that'll cause an issue. So the first thing I want to do is it'll bring up the smart firmware update wizard. So please close all of the programs, which we've already done. Then I'm going to click next and then this is going to pop up and it's basically going to say what your current version is. So I currently have version 1.5.06. Uh, and 2.1 is what's available right now. So that's what I'm going to update to. So I check this box and then I'm going to click next. And then it's going to select the upgrades. Uh, do not turn the off the computer or the smart board or unplug it during this. So I'm going to click next and now the firmware is being upgraded. So really simple. We're just going to click, uh, go to firmware updater, check the box, click next and next, and then it's going to update the firmware and we're going to be kind of patient as it goes through and does that. Okay, and now it's done. It says the firmware has been upgraded. We hit next and then we hit finish and we're all done. That firmware is updated. Okay, here we are on a PC. I'm going to show you how to do the update from here. Uh, if you're so lucky that when you turn it on, you get a little pop up in the bottom right hand corner of your screen that says new firm firmware is ready. Click on that as quickly as possible and that'll walk you through it and that's the easiest way. Otherwise, what you're going to need to do is come down here into your C drive, wherever your Windows main installation folder is. Then we're going to go to the program files x86. Then we're going to scroll down until we get to smart technologies. Click on smart technologies. Then we're going to go to smart product drivers and click on that. And then we're going to scroll down until we get to smart firmware updater.exe. We're going to click on that and that's going to run the program. So then we're going to click next. We're going to wait. We're going to see that it's out of date. We're going to click the update button. Not, there we go. And then we click next. And then it's saying, you know, giving us our warnings. We hit next. And there it goes updating the smart board or updating the firmware. And that's it. The firmware is now updated. So now we're going to hit next. And then finish. And then we can close that. And now we're all back up to date and it's going to be working a lot better. So that's how you update your firmware both on a PC and a Mac. Now that we've updated the firmware, you'll see that writing on the board becomes a lot smoother. It's not going to be connecting uh, lines that shouldn't be connecting anymore. It's going to be a lot better, a lot more responsive and give you a lot better writing experience. So thanks for watching and don't forget to share.